God be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. That, well, you had those palms. You saw those palms. Yeah, he has a nice palm. So he, he, it's working now. The trees is, 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 is producing a harvest. And if it wasn't, you would have been to cut it down, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, because the tree ain't, it ain't all that appealing. My wife already said something about it. Yeah, it doesn't have any, uh, it's, it look like a hay color, but it's kind of brown. It's kind of light color. Well, that's now because of the, uh, when the it, time uh, of the year. But it's it's like a, a dark green, but it has these beautiful uh, red flowers on it. Okay, okay. And then the flowers turn into the pomegranate. Oh, gotcha. At least, at least a lot of the flowers do. Okay, okay. Uh, some of them, you know, they'll just wither away. Right. But, but you know, not to go too far off the whole point of saying that you see how life and how Jesus definitely used nature and everything else. Well, he's the light of the world. So. Yeah, he was bring, but he's he bringing his spiritual truth. They yeah. have the truth using natural uh, examples. And and you you kind of, you was getting into it yourself for a second. It's like, wow, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see it. And, and, and so Bishop, I'm saying is that we want to make sure we understand this the part that you have to play, should play in anything you're coming to God for. Uh, if you want you want a house, look for a house, <laughs> and, and and do your part in trying to get a house. But God, let God do the rest to open opportunities and favor to bring those things to pass. You know, and to keep your focus on it. For for example, brother, as in, uh, now I'll bring a scripture in, uh, Bishop. What I wanted to do was the uh, the story of uh, Lazarus, uh, Lazarus that Jesus raised up from the. Uh, dead but i wanted to do some foundational scriptures just to to uh lead into jesus as an example of, of praying and, and listening and discerning from god and hearing all the oppositions that we face in our life when we are still trying to walk and believe in god for a harvest in this case the harvest was for lazarus to come forth right but look at the scripture here. Uh, this is Matthew, this is Mark 11. But I said, I, I guess we should read that, to tell you the truth, uh, and, and, and break that down for us. What, 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 do you, what you got from that? Love it, I guess from 20 to 26, Mark 11. Can you see it? Oh, you want me to read it? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, Mark 11, 20. And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. Mm -hmm. And Peter calling to remember and said unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou curses is withered away. And Jesus answered and saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whatsoever shall say, whosoever yes. shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt, doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. Mm -hmm. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Mm -hmm. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, yeah. uh -huh. when ye pray, Yes. Believe that ye receive them, and uh -huh. ye shall have them. Mm -hmm. And when ye stand praying, forgive, if ye have ought against any, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. Uh -huh. But if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. Yeah. Now, that was interesting, too, is that that also go with that Lord's Prayer we used to read on. But I, I want to focus on the I think we all agree about the, 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 the hardness of heart comes with unforgiveness piece. That's that's the problem with that. Is is the spirit is not flowing freely because you have some hardness, you know, bad ground, rocks in your soil. But let's focus on the, the, the piece mm -hmm. I'm looking at was he said, first have faith where? In have God. Faith in God. You know, and a lot of people, 
you know, we had a discussion, or one of my friends had a discussion. He think when I said faith, I have faith in, in nothing. No, no, no. Uh-uh. When we say, when we have faith, the faith is always focused on God. That's where our faith is in. Trusting in Him to bring <laughs> what we're asking for to pass, you know? So, for anybody listening to the video, yeah. I want to make you sure... Know, I know people that have... When people put faith in themselves, they put faith in others. They put faith uh, in... in in things, yes, you know, and those are uh, misplaced faith. Yeah, I because, call it. Faith. I mean, the Bible clearly says, Go "Put ahead. faith in God." Yeah, that was you know, and, and faith comes by hearing. Yes, sir. And hearing by the word of God. Yes, sir. So, and and another thing about I said is that it's very hard to have faith in something that has limitations. You know what I mean? There's limitations. Yep. What what I what I like to do is say, have trust in yourself to do the best you can, understanding your limitations. Understanding that your friend has limitations. Understanding that people have limita limitations. So you God is in the area of the unlimited while we operate with our limit our limitations in life. I mean your 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 part is do your part. The best you can. And then where you can't do it, that's where he steps in. That's where we trust in him to step in. And he can step in bringing somebody else in the picture, right? He can do an outright miracle. He can he just open opportunities up that you couldn't open. Right? <laughs> he can bring the right people at the right time for the more, for the purpose at hand. But having faith in God to be able to do that that I can't do. And that's what we want to make sure people understand. Have faith in God. So when we're praying, our faith is in God. We're going to the Father through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But it has to be understanding where our faith is directed to. It has to be toward God. Now, 23, you said right there, you read and it said, For I say unto you that whosoever shall say. Now, what's coming out of your mouth? That's the other piece of that, Brother Hazard. What's coming out of a person's mouth, right? Are you, what are you saying? So who, who, whosoever shall say unto this mountain. And that's another thing that makes you be understand. Mountain, what do you mean when it's that mountain? A mountain is a problem. Me? Yeah, a mountain is a problem, right? It is a rhetorical question. But some people may, I know Elder Bishop, hey Bishop, Elder John sometimes said, he's literally talking about a mountain. And in reality, for people listening, it's also talking about your mountain, your obstacle, what's blocking your path, and, and how you're going to deal with that mountain, right? And he said, uh, be thou removed and be cast into the sea, <laughs> and you shall not doubt in your heart. Now, that's the other piece, Brother Addison, is big time too, isn't it? That doubt part. Yeah. Matter of fact, that's a big. That, that's a. Yeah, that, that's a, a big thing. I, and uh, you, I don't, I don't see that manifesting. At least I don't, because I know people have faith accidents, and that's what I call them when yeah. when uh, things line up with God's word. And it's it's not the norm. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I don't think that it could be the norm or, or 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 consistent in your life without a relationship with God. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think as as uh, Bishop McCamp would say that God is still speaking. Yes. And if you're you're having prayer, which is communication, right. it can't be one side. Right. 
a conversation. You got to hear, hear. Yeah, it's a, it's a conversation. You got to hear a response in the con, the conversation. Right. Um, you know, you hear Jesus say, "I always do what the Father tells me." Well, I mean, that's because it was a conversation. It wasn't one sided. Right. Right. Um, so I think that 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 faith builds up to where there is no doubt when you hear from God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You, you hear the revelation, even in God's word, then there is no doubt because faith is bringing the unseen into the seen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, it's, it's, if, if you already have what you're, what you're putting your faith in to manifest, why do you need faith if it's already manifest? Right. Now, you know, I, it's the substance of things hoped for and yeah. the evidence of things not seen. Not seen. And, and and I think the real fount, the, the real anchor though is where my faith is is in him. My doubt is in me. My doubt is in me and the things around me. Because when my doubt, I, my doubt in God comes in when. If he doesn't do it, then I got to do is it. it. Is it really in you? Your 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 doubt must be the doubt. The doubt has to be in God. No, 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 no. Because it's it's, and and I say that because you 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 wasn't manifesting nothing from the spiritual realm anyway. <laughs> you so, may have doubt of what God would do, but doubt is not in God. The doubt is. I'm saying this: you are the one that having the doubt. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying you originated in the doubt. Yeah, but yeah. not in your most. I just can't imagine somebody really doubting in their ability if they have a relationship with God. My son asked me for stuff with an expectation that's just unreal. <laughs> you talking about faith? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And he 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 asks his mom for stuff that that just blows my mind. Uh, I'm talking about expense. It, it, it's just no limit. Yeah. And the expectation is that he's getting it when he asks, when he brings it up. He does uh -huh. the research. He he can tell <laughs> he can tell you detailed information about what he wants when he asks for it. And he has an expectation of getting it Probably. to the point where it affects his whole, whole personality, his uh, emotional being right. is vexed but from when who? he hears no. When what? he hears no. What's the evidence? What's the and What's the obviously, and I'm pretty sure you, you, you can attest to this, his faith is more so in his mom than me because <laughs> he exactly. hardly ever comes to right. me right. because <laughs> there's a good chance you're going to get no from that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I think that's the piece, right? As we, as we raise... But that's it. just the relationship. Yes, a relationship. Now, the, the question I thought I was thought about this is that... It's the relationship he has with his mom and he knows his mom. Yeah. So when he asks his mom, he has an expectation of receiving those things he asked for. Right. Hey. Because hey. of the relationship. And you said also he he, he actually, if I correct me wrong, you say he did the research, the homework, and I think you also said he assessed the ability of the people that he gonna get it from. Meaning, you know what I'm saying, like. He's not asking for a Rolls a Roy a Rolls Royce or or Mercedes Benz or no, Lamborghini or Lamborghini. He he's not asking for that because he no, probably he's expecting it though. No, he's, he's if if he I'm saying yeah, I think I can he, take you in his room and show you the picture what? on his wall. Oh, you got one in there. He got a picture on his wall. No, he don't. That's what he, and, and so he's expecting what? Well, for graduation or what? When he graduates? I have no idea, but he, he, he hasn't asked me because he, he knows what the answer. 
He can't drive. He can't drive. He got no, no ice. No. He even taught. No, but I mean, he he always he he thinks about you know stuff in the future. Yeah. So he's he gonna get about, it. And I don't think he's expecting that from y'all though. I guarantee you that. I don't think he's expecting from you. I only I thought he, about I, the high school. You know what I can guarantee you? I what? can guarantee you he don't expect it from me. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I don't think he's expecting it from mama. Not on this one. He I may, don't know. He may expect, I guarantee you, he can expect a car going to high school, driving back before school. Y'all so close, y'all can walk to school now, but <laughs> he can. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm cultivating him. I'm okay. trying to bring him down to earth about his first call. Right, but my point is the fact is that as as us and as other believers is our ability to put our faith in Him, God Almighty, because He's the God of no limitations, where everybody else around us, to include you, <laughs> and to include your wife, there's limitations, <laughs> and and she would say Amen on that. There are limitations, you know, but. God, there are no limitations. And remember that scripture said, if there's anything too no. hard for God. That makes sense? Man, you're you're breaking up again. Yeah, I saw you. I couldn't hear you. You froze on me. I, I was waiting for you to come back. You heard me? <laughs> you good? I can hear you now. Okay. There's limitations, I'm saying. is And you, I got yeah. saying that it is anything too hard for him. No, no, no. No. That's my point. But is there anything and I think too it, hard it, for it, him? It, it, it needs to be a... <laughs> We, we we getting into the area, I guess, where somebody's listening into our conversation like the enemy. Yeah, saying it's <laughs> don't a want these, you don't want these truths to get out there. Exactly, because I'm trying to do it for simplicity, right? It's simplicity. It's the fact I'm saying is your wife will tell your son there are things that are too hard for me. But God is saying there's nothing too hard for him. Uh -huh. And that's why we want to get to that point of, of believing. Now, what I want to do is the Lazarus story. We can talk in between. We ain't got to finish it. But let's, okay. let's let's deal with Lazarus. All right. And how Jesus dealt with it. Uh, let's see here. So, you know, earlier you said the fruit was, was Lazarus raising up. Yeah. And, and, a, and, and I thought, was it more so the people that saw well, that's the that's the overflow, right? That's he said, let's the seed die, right? There's more will come after something, more believe because of what he did, right? Yeah. yeah. Then, but at the same time, he's also saying is I'm just showing you I am the resurrection, right? Yeah. That, that's what he was yeah. trying to say. So yeah. even if you kill him, and I think that's why he did the four days for Lazarus. Uh -huh. Just so just in case y'all may get deep on me because I got it in three days. I, I I can get some I can, I can get somebody else up in four days. I can get myself up in three days. But if I need to, I get up in four days if I need to. You know what I mean? I think that's what the whole part of that. But like you said, many believed on him because of that. So so but let's look at how we talk about ourselves and 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 and, and, and what Jesus went through and how people were living at the time. Look at this, look at the beginning. This I let me slide one first. Go ahead and read that. Uh, 11 1. Now, a certain man was sick named Lazarus. Okay. <laughs> now, a certain man was sick named Lazarus of yeah. Bethany, uh -huh. the town of Mary, and her sister Martha. Can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you. It was that Mary which anointed the Lord 
with anointment, with ointment, and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. When Jesus heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. When he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. Yeah, he, he was working on something, right? Now, everybody else around you, Brother Asa, we take that from the perspective of our life. Some people thinking, you're supposed to show up now, God, <laughs> right? Can you hear me? You might froze on, I froze on you. You hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He, most people believe now. And 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 that's that's even in our own situation. I've said now. <laughs> Fix me now. Yeah, that that be me. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> now that's how I am. I'm look, I'm like my son. <laughs> I'm asking, I have an expectation. <laughs> <laughs> now, right? <laughs> Fix me now. <laughs> but but he said it was for the glory of God, though. You know what I mean? He said this is for the glory of God. Now, I don't know about you, but at that time when you sit that you ain't went, Lord, glory now. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So Jesus, Jesus, Jesus said, he said to stick around a little longer. Now, check that next one out. Seven to thirteen. <laughs> Eight, eleven, seven. Then after that, saith he to his disciples, Let us go into Judea again. His disciples say unto him, Master, the Jews of the lake sought to stone thee. And goest thou thither again? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If any man walk in the day, he stumbleth not, uh -huh. because he seeth the light of the world. Yes, sir. Of this world. But if a man walk in the night, uh -huh. he stumbleth, because there is no light in him. Okay. These things said he, and after that he saith unto them, Our friend Lathis sleepeth, but I go, that I may awake him out of sleep. Uh-huh. Then said his disciples, Lord, if he sleep, he shall do what help? How be it Jesus spake of his death. Uh -huh. But they thought that he had spoke, spoken of taking of rest in sleep. Right. Now, now is there anything of, of, of the natural now that you see in this one? Um right now yeah well there there there's a few things you know um there's one about the you there's a issue there's a concern about safety yeah there, there's a hey uh, I don't think we should be doing this. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what you're trying to say. I, I, I don't think we should be. Uh, do you remember what we did last time we was there? Do, do, do you understand? My point is, have faith in God. Jesus is showing us an example. Faith in God is we're going over to see Lazarus. Man, doubt and everything else is, I don't think we want to go there. Right? We, we don't need to go. You you know what you didn't you didn't uh, you didn't do too well last time. Man. You know, it, by fact those plants use the example of those plants right that you grew mm -hmm. that didn't grow. Yeah. You, you don't really want to. You 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 want to put some money in that? 
I mean, look. Uh, look just, I don't want to. I don't want to put them back into the screen damn path there. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? what the the thing that that really caught my eyes was uh, eleven nine. Uh huh. When he said, "There's twelve hours in the day." Yeah. Yeah. And he says, if a man walk in the day, he stumbleth not. He says, because he sees the light of this world. Yes, sir. And Jesus is the light of the world. Right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He says, but if a man walk in the night, he stumbleth because there is no light in him. Yes. Yes. He's referring to something. So he's not speaking of the natural light, is he? He's talking no. about something else, right? And so, I, yeah. um, he and and this also lets you know that he's in communication with his father uh -huh. because how else would he know yes. that this is to glorify his yeah. father? Exactly. Exactly. If they haven't conversated and God did not hadn't already told him he said, about yeah. Lazarus. Exactly. Right. And to me, like you said, this this he said, this is a time for us to walk. Right? Yeah. Cause there's an hour of darkness coming. And that time men gonna stumble. But while we have the light, and he said, cause they were sitting there saying, you know, they stone you, you don't need to go there. No, I'm going because I'm still walking in the light. Yeah. And the same thing when we deal with something, and he said, I understand you're walking with me. Cause he's with us, right? He's in us. Yeah. He wants to walk that way. What about the other one though? Uh, Lazarus sleep. You already know the translation of that anyway. But what? But my point though is though, isn't what other people think that also you have to contend with? Well, I mean, people have their their ideas, you yeah. know, about about. Uh, what you should and should not do, <laughs> you know. So obviously that that's that's played out in this. Yeah. And they 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 cared about Jesus and they knew that they were they they were wanted to stone him in Judea. Right. So you know they're like, well, why you want to go back then? <laughs> I don't want to be a part of that. Right. <laughs> hey, bitch. That's one of the things how people. I'm saying in life though, that's what people do. And that's what we have to confront, either in our own understanding or in other people's understanding of saying, you don't need to do, if you thought you heard from God, in this case, Jesus heard from God. In this case, Jesus is going to glorify God, but there's oppositions of life with others that brings in and try to pollute that, that, that thought, you know what I mean? If you're gonna pray, you gotta do your part. The other part too is he he's actually moving. He's going to where Lazarus. Could could he glorify God away from Lazarus? Um I I couldn't really understand what you said, could, but I could think he could he have God. gone another way. Could he glorify to, God? To could he have glorified God? Without going there? Yeah. He, 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 he could have glorified God, I think, but not in the a manner that he did. Because he could have just spoke it, and the disciples heard it, and then heard that Lazarus risen from the dead. Exactly. But, uh, <laughs> but that, that wouldn't have been a greater incident i think it would not a have audience, been right? a bigger a bigger uh harvest yes exactly um, so there, it, it it was uh it was a time and a purpose for for that entire section of the bible and you know one of the things i get out of the Bible is the glorified it was meant to happen the way it was meant to happen yeah, but you know what I'm saying? The, the, the focus was to glorify God. You know? That's the other piece. Of it. When we do what we do, 
Are we gonna give God the glory? Yeah, that's that's the thing. Yeah. Everything has to be said. Will God, how am I gonna get the glory for God out of this? Not the glory for me, but how how God how do I make sure God gets the glory? By believing that He's the one that's gonna bring it to pass. It,